2, a video where I'm still ill. And this guy... <coughs> this, guys, is dressing gown stories. Now, I've been recommended by Nay and some other people to actually call it dressing gown stories because it is a good idea and it just sounds fucking amazing and I'm just amazing, so it's all amazing. But today I've got a very interesting story to tell. If you can tell by the title, because the title just, you clicked on this video because the title, there's a big lens fire here. It's, it's just like that. Anyway, so the title says it all. Yes, it's true. Okay, guys. And you may not believe me, but I do have evidence of my girlfriends, my girlfriend's mom, my girlfriend's sister, um, and I'll explain the story. Once you have gave a big fuck like on this video, make sure you click that like down down down, down there, like down here, uh, and also that subscribe button as well. Because if you want to say subscribe to me, make sure you press that subscribe button. And also, there's a little bell next to it because YouTube are just fucking re retarded and they don't know how to, you know, keep it old school with the old school style where you sub to a channel and you can see their content. So there's a little bell. Uh, click on that and you'll you know you get notified every single time I upload. So if you guys want to see more videos and more dress and gown stories make sure you leave a like on the video comment if anything ever has happened to you weird in this situation and you know i'd love to hear some of your stories as well maybe you can be featured on dress and gown stories so all you have to do is be in a dressing gown and tell your story really I, th <coughs> I think that's a good idea actually i think i should make it so it's open for youtubers and people to actually interact with us so they can tell their story with a dressing gown on and you know just be like me <laughs> anyway, let's get into the story, but before we do, make sure you leave that like, because if you don't leave that like, <sighs> this will happen to you. Anyway, <clears throat> let's get into this video. So basically, about four or five months ago, uh, me and my girlfriend, well actually, let's start from the beginning. So me and my girlfriend and her mom and her sister and everyone, we do these things. Now, these things are like spiritual spiritual interactions. So what we do, it's like a Ouija board, but it's not exactly a Ouija board because Ouija boards bring bad spirits mainly. So we do it through a glass and like a ring. So like a, like a ring of numbers and letters and everything. And we put the glass in the, mi uh, in the middle and we ask for lots of uh, our, our spirits, friendly spirits and family spirits to come through and to, you know, talk to us basically uh, now we did this for a long long time and you know i got better at it obviously nays got lots more energy than me uh, so as her sisters just got ridiculous amounts of energy and i i myself didn't have any at the start but then i started to gain a lot a lot of energy over the month of course of a few months anyway so we were once just we were sitting down at the table and we thought it'd be a good idea to try and interact a little bit more with their granddad because their granddad uh, comes through a lot and he likes to move the cars around and the table and he likes to do loads of sort of cool things which are really cool to see so I thought it'd be a good idea for the first time for me to see this stuff uh, because my powers obviously my energy has come up and it's, it's a lot stronger than it was before anyway so we asked for friendly spirits to come through and we got about seven or eight come through and now you you may be asking how the hell do you know seven or eight you can just tell when you actually do this for the first time you just feel like it's a weird feeling it's like a rush of adrenaline and like you feel energetic and you can just tell that there is someone there sometimes you can see them depends what you know uh, depends what you are because you can be claire knowing claire Boyne, or claire uh I can't remember the other people, but you can see and you can hear and you can think and loads of other things. But um, <clears throat> me personally, I see and I hear, uh, and sometimes I do know. I'm, I'm kind of a hybrid, really. So, anyway, um, so basically, we're doing this thing here and we've asked for friendly spirits around. So, we're trying to find the granddad uh, to do this all this action with, but we can't seem to find him. So, it's a bit sketchy. We're getting some people through saying, like, oh, I'm related to, you know, someone that we've never heard before or someone we've never met, so we ask them to kindly step back and let someone we know through. Anyway, so um, we were sitting there and basically they asked for me. So I, what I do then is when they ask for me, I open my energy out, I let my energy go so everyone takes their finger off the glass uh, and I put mine in there on its own. And so I'm, I'm sitting there with my, my hand on this glass and everything. And then I start to, like... 
talk. Well, not not talk yet. Uh, I start to talk to Yasa, which is my girlfriend's sister, uh, and she is the most powerful one out of everyone. She has like uh, guardian angels and everything, and her guardian angel was telling her to tell me to back away because it was dangerous for me apparently. So. In my mind, I don't even remember. This is what I've been told, by the way, guys. So I personally don't remember. This is all stories they've told me. So me, apparently, this is what I did, is um, when uh, Yasa told me to step back and let the energy go, I said, no, he's trying to help. So they're like, um, well, can you let Sam, you know, control and, you know, you can help him that way. And the guy was like, no. I'm not letting go. And now this is, by the way, this is not me at all. This is not me. So I started getting aggressive towards all of them. They were all trying to tell me to calm down and to, you know, tell me more information. And I was just getting absolutely rowdy. I started shouting at them. I started saying other things. Now, this is called overshadowing. So overshadow is where someone with a, a higher energy in the spiritual world comes through into your body and takes over your, like, main parts of like your brain and all that sort of stuff but it doesn't like fully take over it like it's like a sort of a i don't know how to explain it. it's like a bug really it's like you know when you put a virus on a computer and it takes over that part you can remove the virus if you know how to uh, and obviously everyone's trained here so they know how to i'm the, the least trained out of them all <clears throat> anyway so i'm here you know like shouting and you know, doing these things. So anyway, um, Yasa's guardian angel, who's one of the strongest ones there, steps into me and pushes this person away. Now, the person I remember was an old guy um, in his late 50s, and <coughs> he was trying, <coughs> for all I know, he was trying to protect me from everyone else. Don't know why, don't know what he did, don't know what he said. All I remember is them, like, telling me what happened and that that the mom would have slapped me if I really spoke to their child and children like that. So I'm guessing it's bad, but I don't know. Um, but anyway, so basically she, her, her guardian angel stepped through uh, and come to me to get this guy off me, which then I came back and I was like, oh, uh, yeah, uh, whatever, this is fine. And then I wanted to stop because they told me that I was being all this and I felt weird anyway. So I was like, I want to stop. And then... Um, then, then the guardian angel was like, "No, you can't stop. You have to carry on. This is Jesus' guardian angel." I was like, "No, I'm, I'm not stopping. I mean, I am stopping. I'm not carrying on." So I've stepped back. I've sat down. I've let the energy go because when you let the energy go, you have to sit with all your feet on the floor, hands on your, um, you know, your, your what do you call it? Your knees. <laughs> Sorry, uh, hands on your knees. And you have to basically let the light inside your head go so that it, there's nothing there anymore. And you just see complete darkness. And then that means, you know, your energy is closed down. So I've done this um, and then everyone else is still open. And then the same person comes through uh, in a different way. He was spelling out on the table like these things like Sam, come back. Uh, and all these things. It's really, really... It was terrifying at the time. Like, this is not even clickbait, like, guys. This actually happened. And if you guys don't believe me, um, I could get... If you guys really want proof, you know, I can get uh, the proof off Neymar and Neymar's mum and everyone else just to, you know, clarify. I try, I try and get them to comment down below to tell them, tell you guys that it actually happened because not being funny, guys, it did. And it's a scary moment in life. So if you guys don't know what you're doing when you're going to mess with spiritual worlds... Don't do it unless you've got someone experienced. Like I've been to many classes, I've been to many churches and stuff to do this sort of stuff, um, and you know I've paid money to learn it. So if you guys are doing it like at home with a Ouija board, don't guys, because you hear all these stories about possessions and stuff, and half of them are true, half of them aren't true. Some of them are like completely just outblown. Like I fuck it, people are like, levitating. No, no, if someone says they've levitated, unless they have hard evidence that they have lifted off the ground with no ropes, no wires, no fucking thing you can hover with, then <coughs> they haven't. I mean, no, guys, because that is just absolutely ridiculous if they've levitated. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video. I'm not editing this video because of some certain things. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.